Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to use uh, validation rules and validation text to uh, make data entry a little bit easier and more valid, a little more accurate. So I've got this database set up, and one of the tables in question is the jobs log. In a jobs log, a data entry clerk would enter a job date, employee, client, task, job start time, job end time, and this would be used to calculate billable hours and ultimately a, a client invoice. When a person enters in a job entry into the jobs log, they have to enter the date. And I want to rig it so that they can't enter a date in the future. Okay? So I'm going to head and I'm going to change, I'm going to jump over to my home ribbon, jump over to design view for this table that I already have created. And there's fields, as you can see, there's the job ID, the job date, the employee ID, client ID, task, start time, and end time. I'm interested in the job date and time, the job date. So I've got this field set up and I've already done a couple little properties on here. Notice I've got the formatting set to month, day, four digit year. And now I want to jump over to um, validation rule. And the validation rule I'm going to type for this one is going to be pretty simple. Uh, for a numeric field you would use simple, you know, you could use greater than, less than, um, let's say it was for a text field with a limited number of, of values, let's say MPAA ratings for a movie database. You could put in something like uh, oops, equals R or equals PG, and this would limit the entries to simply R or PG, and of course you could keep on going to other ratings. But I'm going to use a date, so I want to make sure that the date entered for this particular field is less than or equal to now. And now, of course, is a function that you might be familiar with from Excel, but now is a function that represents the current date and time. So the date entered has to be less than or equal to that. They can't enter a future date. So I'm going to go ahead and save this, and let's test it out. Oh, by the way, this little message is very, very normal. Um, I don't want you just to ignore it, but I want you to just be aware of it. You're always going to get this whenever you set a validation rule for a table. There's the potential that existing data violates the rule that you're now creating. So you have to be very aware of the data that's already in the table. I'm going to go ahead and uh, click yes. And I'm going to jump over to design view and I'll just go to one of these particular jobs. Here's one from March 15th, 2012. And I'm going to go ahead and change it. By the way, today is May 15th when I'm creating this video. I'll go ahead and change the date to May, oops, May 16th, which is in the future. And as soon as I tab away to leave, I get this error message. And this error message is pretty cryptic. One or more values are prohibited by the validation rule less than equals now. Set for jobs log dot jobs date. Enter a value that the expression for this field can accept. Wow, what an error message. I'm going to click OK. Um, I'll change this to May 15th, which satisfies the rule. Jump back over to my properties, my design view for the table. So whenever you set a validation rule, you always want to take an extra few minutes to set some validation text. And this is going to be a much more reader-friendly error message. So my validation rule is that the date must be less than or equal to today's date. My validation text is the job date must be for today's date or earlier. There we go. So it's a little bit more easily understood. I'm going to go ahead and save. I'll jump back over to uh, data sheet view and I'll change this date from May 15th to May 16th, breaking the rule. Press my tab key and here we go. Now my error message is the job date must be for today's date or earlier. So this is going to improve the quality of data that goes into our database and therefore will improve the quality of the decisions that we make based off of our database. So that's validation rule and validation text.